Now we're going to look at the same preference table again, only this time there will be some changes. The following table shows the preference table for a straw vote. In the actual election, the 30 voters in the last column who voted A, C, B in that order changed their votes to C, A, B. Notice that this is in our first column. Using the plurality with elimination method, which candidate wins the election? And then, based on your answers to the previous question, is the monotonicity criterion satisfied? We're going to take the 30 votes from the last column, and we're going to transfer those 30 votes to the first column for CAB. So we'll scratch out the last column, and we'll change the number of votes in our first column to 100. That's 70 plus 30. Now what we're going to do is use the plurality with elimination method. We begin by looking at the number of first place votes. And we'll start off with candidate A. We notice that candidate A is going to have 50 first place votes. Candidate B would end up having 60 first place votes from our second column. And candidate C is going to have 100 first place votes. Now what we're going to be looking for would be a majority. There are 210 votes altogether. Half of that would be 105. So to have a majority would require us to have a candidate with greater than 105 votes. Since this does not occur, we're going to now eliminate the candidate with the least number of votes and then look at the voting once more. So notice that in this case, B is going to have, sorry, A is going to have the least number of votes. We're going to eliminate A and rewrite our table. We're now only going to have first and second place. We're going to have 100, 60, and 50. And remember, we're eliminating candidate A. So we're going to have in our first column, C, B. In our next column, B, C. And in our last column, eliminating A gives us B, C. Now let's tally up the number of first place votes once more. For this time, we're only going to be considering candidates B and C. Candidate B received 60 votes in the second column, 50 votes in the third, for a total of 110 votes. Candidate C receives 100 votes. Because candidate B ends up with a majority that's greater than 105 votes, candidate B would end up being the winner. Now, let's look at the monotonicity criterion. If a candidate wins an election and in a re-election the only changes are changes that favor the candidate, then that candidate should win the re-election. Let's look back at the fact that when we took the 30 votes and transferred them into the first column, C was going to be the beneficiary. Remember that when we did the straw vote to begin with, C was the winner. However, when we look at those changes being made, B ends up being the winner. And so the monotonicity criterion is not satisfied. 